to go eat lunch. Um, I don't know your hat is, honey. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to look for it. Okay. We're just gonna get some lunch before we... Let's go. We're just gonna go? Yep, we're just gonna Okay, go. okay, let's go. Let's go to the car, come on. Okay, take it to the car. Maybe gonna look one more place. Okay, headed to work. It is Saturday. Got my first paycheck, did I tell you guys that? We're actually talking about like, is it even worth it? Cause if I could find one more house to clean, that'd be two houses a month and it completely takes care of that income. Let me just tell you. Cause I don't work at the church a whole lot of hours, but, um, and I really like working there. I actually like the work. I wish it paid a little better. Um, but part of it is that we're, I'm gone long enough that Jesse, Declan's very active. And so Jesse can't really get much done and dad's there, but it's neither one of them get anything done. They have a really good time and I am, so pleased to have him, them all there, because I think that it's good man time, you know? So glad y'all are in the car with me. It's nice to have someone to talk to. But I think the other part of it is that I'm used to making a nice income. Like, I made, I made a pretty good income. I probably, we probably could have done childcare for Declan um, and still cleared some money, and it would have helped keep our standard of living, like, kind of where it was. Um, but we just thought that I wasn't going to make that much more money above childcare, you know, and for us to have to send him to childcare would mean we would miss out on all these neat things that are going on in his life right now. And I don't regret that choice now. Um, I know that there are people that can make so much money that they can afford like the craziest daycare. And it's so awesome and they feel like that daycare probably would do a better job maybe with their like not homeschooling but sort of homeschooling their kid and um, I completely understand that and so if that's a choice that somebody made and you feel like it's the right one you should totally stand by it and not question it and don't feel like I'm telling you that you should have stayed home with your kid because it's not for everyone it's kind of exhausting emotionally and physically too um, not that what you're doing isn't because sometimes totally are but since I've worked in corporate America I could tell you that my job was way more stressful than what I'm doing right now but um, staying home with your kid takes an emotional toll on you but is more emotionally rewarding than it is exhausting so in those moments when you are like overwhelmed and you're just like oh, I just can't do it he won't go to sleep I don't know what to do oh my gosh the hell? Um, then they like pass out at some point eventually and then look like little angels that you just can't stand not to be with. And that moment, even though it seems like it's kind of briefer than the crazy moments, um, kind of fills up uh, the, the hurt, you know, like the, not the hurt, but the, um, the difficult part. Like you, you just feel better about the whole thing. Anyway, I'm here at work, so. You just do anything for your kids, right? You know what I'm saying, people? You just do. We went to Dairy Queen for lunch and we had a lovely time. It was so fun. The baby boy had a great time, but it was like soccer party galore there. And so it was crazy. Yet again, I have not gotten here in time. There's like a coffee place here in our church, but I haven't gotten here in enough time to get coffee. Which I'm sad about. Oh well. <laughs> 